Hello, I am Solaj Alfred. Welcome to the HTS ePoll. It's your opportunity to weigh in on the most pressing issues of the day. The ePoll is brought to you by the Library Cooperative Credit Union. We're here for beginnings, endings, and everything in between. For the startups, the slow starts, for the early risers, and the end of day finishers. For the career jugglers, high flyers, and for everyone who's ever had a goal or chased a goal. It's why we're here. Here to help you plan, track, and execute your goals so you can own a better tomorrow. Labri Cooperative Credit Union. One member and one goal at a time. Call us today. Telephone 459-6900. Labri Cooperative Credit Union. We are not a bank. We are better. Could the government and people of St. Lucia lose the sum of $7.3 million as a result of payments made by the former Alan Chastney-led administration to affirm radical investments to purchase COVID-19 vaccinations? Former Prime Minister Chastney says he made the payment after undertaking due diligence, noting that he knew Mark Maloney, who is associated with the company. However, former Prime Minister Chastney says he could not say if Maloney was an owner or a manager of the company, nor did he know if the company Radical Investments Inc. was registered in Barbados or St. Lucia. Radical Investments has filed a lawsuit in the U.S., after the agent authorized by the Barbados government to procure vaccines was reportedly, quote, deceptively lured into an elaborate U.S. $10.2 million scam for 1 million non-existent doses of the AstraZeneca vaccine through a Florida company. So, we ask. Should the government of St. Lucia investigate the $7.3 million payment to Radical Investments, Inc.? We tallied the numbers on our voting platforms, and here is how you voted. 80% said yes, and 20% said no. We also took to the streets to get your opinion, and here's what you had to say. Yes, I strongly believe that because evidently the Prime Minister said that he did pay it, so I think the current government should really take a stand and to investigate further on that matter because that's a lot of money, money that could help to our education, our health sector. Definitely, I, I am of the view that, you know, the, that seven odd million dollars needs to be investigated in light of the fact that even we see Barbados seem to be in hot water with, with that situation. And plus, we heard that the, prime minister, the former prime minister himself indicated that he did pay the money. So obviously, there must be some investigation as to what, what went on. I was a bit, a bit concerned. And I think now what has happened now, it has caused us to be a lot more concerned with what has come out of Barbados. I'm listening to the pronouncements from the news. The prime minister has indicated the, the past. The, past Prime Minister, that he did his due diligence. Yes, yet there were some issues that he was not certain of, not certain of whether the guy that he spoke to was, an, was a, the general manager or whatever. So like Barbados, I think we need to carry out our investigation because for $7.3 million to go down the drain, especially in this time when there are so many of us from St. Lucia who are suffering, I think we need to understand that that money, if we can recoup these monies, we need to put structures in place to ensure we get that because I do not think that $7.3 million should just go down, down the drain just this way. Because if he invests money for a vaccine and he, they never get the um, vaccine or whatever, he's supposed to investigate that because the um, government that was there, Chastney was there, and they're supposed to know something about that. So he's supposed to investigate the matter. So as you said, said Nusha is in debt. It must be investigated because that is crime against St. Lucia Chastney. This is crime against St. Lucia money itself. Alan Chastney, you, you, you should be accountable for that. If you say that you sure you gave the people this money, Alan Chastney, I'm begging you, we need that money back in St. Lucia. Yes, the government should investigate that um, vaccine money thing because if the government complain in the country is poor, where he get all that funds to buy vaccine and up to now we, can, we have no clue where the vaccine goes. So then that need to investigate it. It needs to. It's unfortunate that this current government has to do all in its power to bring those who are guilty 
to justice. And I also believe that this is a situation where friends, family, and foreigners have stood to benefit from our generosity. So I think the current government should investigate it, not only this episode, but the Pajor letter and others. No. Reason being, we have been doing that dance for a very long time. Government after government investigate outgoing governments and nothing comes out of it. So I don't think we should be sending good money behind bad money. I just think we should count our losses and put things in place that these things does not happen. Thanks for those responses. Now to our new discussion. Questions are being asked about how, if and when, St. Lucia will retrieve the $7.3 million paid to Radical Investments Inc. for the purchase of COVID-19 vaccines. As it turned out, Radical Investments Inc. claims to have been duped by the people and companies it engaged to secure the vaccines. The matter is before the courts in Florida with suits and countersuits. So, we ask, should the government of St. Lucia sue Radical Investments Inc. for the $7.3 million paid to the company to purchase COVID-19 vaccines? Voting is easy. Just log on to htsstlucia.org or Facebook at HTS St. Lucia Official and vote. Remember, our EPOL team is always on the go to get your responses as well. Watch the HTS News Force from 7 p.m. for the results and a new discussion.